Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you guys a tour of my room. This is my office and my sewing and craft room. I just thought that I'd give you guys a tour of my room just so that way you guys can have an idea as to what to expect from my channel. So first we'll go over my office desk. This is where I have my laptop and um, I have two additional monitors here. I do decorate my desk with these guys here. Um, I love Beauty and the Beast, so I bought this collection here from the Disney store. I bought this a few years ago. Uh, they used to smell like roses, but they don't anymore because it's been a few years. I am also a huge fan of Studio Ghibli, so I have these guys um, that I received last year for Christmas. Um, and as I mentioned, I'm a Disney fan, so I bought those Disney door mystery boxes. And these are the characters that I was able to get. You can see that there are some duplicates here. So I did kind of stop buying them um, for a bit here just because I kept getting the same characters. So... I'll probably just wait until they go on sale again. I might buy more because <laughs> they're super cute. I do like them. I also have a candle that I keep at my desk as well. It's just something that I find therapeutic. Um, I'll light it up while I'm working or something, researching, um, or while I'm thinking about what to create. Uh, I do like to light up a candle. I also have some planners and notebooks that I also like to keep at my desk. Uh, I just like to keep them here just because while I'm thinking about what to create uh, and if something pops up in my mind, I can just grab my notebook and jot it down in there. So I'll just show you guys. I have this uh, little planner here. I do try to uh, plan my crafts and my what I want to sew for the week. So this is like my weekly planner. If I don't write it down, I'll most likely forget. So I do try to keep track and plan my week. I also have this notebook here. This is my daily journal. I like to try to write down uh, what happened during the day, uh, what my thoughts were for the day, how I felt for that day. I just find that it's very therapeutic when I can write down my thoughts and everything that I have. And then I also just, I like to read uh, and I'm huge into books, you guys will see in a second here. But I have this book of sig signature classics, so they're like short stories, classic stories. Uh, I just have this at my desk because if I ever need a break or something, I can open this up and read a few uh, short stories. I also have this notebook. This is a really cute, <laughs> unique notebook. I bought this at an airport. You can see here, it's the Napoleon ice cream. And this notebook contains pretty much my all of my ideas. Uh, this is what I want to create in the future as to like what I want to sew in the future, um, what I want to do in the future in regards to my crafts and everything. So I do just put all of that in here because like I said, if I don't write it down, I'm not going to remember. I also have this notebook here. Uh, I do sew a lot more than anything. Um, so I like to, uh, everything that I do for like sewing, I have it all written down in here. Um, so I'll plan out what it is that I want to sew, um, any sewing terminology that I feel like I need to know. Um, I'll write it down in here as well. Any sewing plans that I have, I have all of that written down in here. I also like to cut out like my fabric and just put in like my ideas as to what I want to do with that fabric. So I'll cut it out, put it in here, and then like just write down some things as to what I want to create with it. So that is my sewing planner. 
This is also my dress form that I have here. And then I also have a really big mirror here. So when I'm sewing and I want to try out, try on the garment that I'm sewing, it's nice to just have like a mirror here so I can see how it looks on me. And then also, you know, if there's anything that I need to fix. I also have some storage boxes, um, storage bins. I have some in my closet as well, but I ran out of space in there. Uh, but a lot of my storage bins are, they contain my scrap fabric. I also have this bin that contains my sketchbooks. So I'm trying to get back into to drawing. I really want to learn how to get better with drawing. So that's what I have in there. I also have this. This is where I keep all of my sewing patterns. So I like to try to be organized. Um just so I have like a space to go to. So this is where I keep like all of my sewing patterns and then also any sewing books that has patterns, I have that here as well. All right, so we'll move on to my bookshelf. So here I just have like some old magazines that I like to go back and just get inspiration from. I am a huge fan of Fashionary, so I do have some of their books here. I also have like art books and fashion books. I also have um, sewing books, crochet books, knitting books, embroidery books. This is all the stuff that I really want to learn. So. I bought all these books so that way I can learn from them and then also refer back to them in the future if there's something that I want to create and I don't remember how to do it but I remember reading it from one of the books. I always have these books to refer back to. And then this bunch of paper here. These are patterns that I have printed off. Um, I don't like to cut out my patterns but I actually prefer to trace the patterns and then cut out the tracing paper that I have that I use. It's just easier for me um, because you know if, if I have to recreate the garment for someone that's not my size I'll at least still have the pattern to work off of instead of having to go and like print them all off again. This is my craft table. Uh, I also keep my fabric here. Uh, I do have some fabric on the other side of this table as well. Typically, I do like to buy fabric that's on sale or I'll look through the clearance area and um, try to buy those fabric as well. So sometimes I'll like splurge. If, this, if it's fabric that I really like that's not on sale, I would typically splurge on it if I have the money for it. Um, a few books that I am currently reading um, is How to Get Dressed. So this is a really good informational book and it's not boring. It's actually really interesting. So I'm reading that book. I'm also reading Girl Boss. I'm like halfway through. It's pretty inspirational. I feel like nowadays everyone is trying to be their own boss and you know, have their own business and, you know, create their own brand. And I hope to actually do that one day too, hopefully. <laughs> um, I'm also a huge fan of Harry Potter. So um, I'm reading the first book and I'm reading the book illustrated by Mina Lima. So in this little pouch here, um, I do just have like highlighters and... Um, I have like highlighters. I also have like post-it notes that I can use to make notes. Uh, I haven't made any notes in here, but I've made some notes in this book to um, kind of like things that I can refer back to in this book. Um, and currently, what I'm trying to learn um, is I know how to crochet, but I'm at like a very beginner level, so I'm not that great at it. Uh, and I do want to learn how to knit uh, because 
fall is coming. I love fall. Fall is my favorite season. I love wearing sweaters and cardigans. That's like what I would wear every single day, uh, even in the summer. So I do want to learn how to knit and crochet my own sweaters and cardigans. So I'm learning how to knit right now. I bought some books and I also want to learn how to create my own patterns and learn about sewing and design. So I heard a lot of good things about this book. I also heard a lot of good things about this pattern making book. So I still have to go, I did go through this. You can see I have like all my post-its in here. Um, so I really want to learn how to make my own patterns. So here, this is where my Cricut machine is and it contains like all of my Cricut materials, the, uh, all of the Cricut, um, papers and everything that I need. Um, I have my cardstock here and everything. So that's where I keep all of my Cricut materials. This is my sewing desk, uh, my sewing table. So I have my heavy duty Singer sewing machine. I've had this sewing machine for, I think it's been about eight years that I've had this sewing machine. Um, it still works very well, um, but I do kind of feel like it's wearing down a little bit. I also have this Brother Serger, and I've had this for, I think it's been about five years. So I've had it for a very good time, for a very long time, uh, but it works very well still. So I have both of these sewing machines. I do like to keep them next to each other because it's just easier for me to move from one machine to the other. I just recently bought this sewing machine. It's a new sewing machine. It's the Singer sewing machine. I bought it because I was able to save enough money to buy myself another sewing machine just in case my heavy duty sewing machine breaks down on me because I'm not gonna lie, it's I've had it for a while and I've had some instances where I felt like it was it was breaking down on me. So I was able to save some money and buy myself another one. And then I have my sewing box. This is all of my sewing essentials. So every time I sew, I always use pretty much everything that's in this box. And this is where my threads are. So I have all of my thread here. And then I have this board here. Um, this is like my inspiration board. Right now I'm into handbags and pouches, learning how to create those. So I use these as an inspiration because I hope to one day be able to create something like this. But yeah, so if you guys liked my room tour, go ahead and click on the like button. Uh, if you guys want to see what I create in the future, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, the other thing is, you know, like I said, I'm really into books. So if you guys want me to review any of the books that I have, or if you guys even have like book recommendations, um, I'm all for it. So uh, thank you for taking the time on listening and watching my room tour. And I hope to see you guys in the future. Bye.